It came unannounced. The land was overcome by an unknown darkness. The land became twisted, and everything came to life to attack humanity. Oh no! <laughs> uh, this is just started, by the way. I just opened the game. I had to rush to get my OBS to record. Judging that humanity would be destroyed at this rate, scientists began working on a project to build an ark as a safe haven for humanity. Wowie. At least it looks cool. The project is going smoothly. The last remnants of humanity gathered together, and the Ark project was a success. This game is called Chrono Ark, by the way. Just, uh, you know, there's not really no, no time for introductions. However, they did not realize that the Ark is not a safe haven full of hope but a cage that would imprison them for eternity. All right. The people discovered only one thing. Activate the clock tower and the world would be restored. Okay. <laughs> seems kind of, I don't know. It seems like a little bit of a weird design flaw. <laughs> you start the clock tower and the whole arc comes down. It was a final message they had left to the world. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. You, I don't know. That seems like you're setting yourself up for some, for some bad times. But maybe that's just me. Okay. This game is called a uh, Chrono Arc. I don't know anything about it. I think it's a deck builder. We're gonna find out here in about five seconds when I jump into this game. Um. Thank you, Humble Bundle, as always, for supplying me with new games. I'm pretty sure that this was part of the, the deck builder one. I'm like 95% sure. Welcome to the Ark. Hi. This is heaven, where everyone's dreams come true. Okay. People live together for a single hope. Yes, this is the world everyone wanted. Come on, tell me. What do you desire? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I desire. Freedom, I guess. I, that thing is adorable. I, okay. I wasn't done reading that, but I guess I am now. I can use the mouse or I can use WASD. Well, we'll use the keyboard. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that was weird. Lucy. This way, Lucy. You're always too slow, kid. She's just a child. Don't be too hard on her. You just need to go a little further. Do you think you can make it? Yeah, no problem. Don't push yourself too hard. And the treasure of the investigation team, after all. <laughs> oh, okay. Wee. Interact E. Okay, thanks. Dude, this game is so loud. I cranked it way, way down too when I first booted it up. That's a little too quiet. Eh, that should be fine. What? What is happening? Okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right. Oh, right, we'll protect you with our lives, thanks. Well, we'll take care of the monsters, just lead the way for us. I'm not scared as long as everyone's with me. All right, is that me? It is me, okay, but it's not at the same time. Let us know if you have any problems, okay. I will definitely do that. I wanna see if I can interact with this statue. No, okay. It was worth a shot. I hear a fire. I think this game is early access, so I'm not I'm not judging it too harshly. Hey kid, try eating this. It's freshly cooked. Stay warm, Lucy. Wow, it's so warm. <laughs> I neglected the last piece we went to the clock tower. Our journey's end is not far off. All thanks to Lucy. <laughs> Ugh, I'll give you some credit. Okay, um, well, I, I mean, I know people are going to be horribly maimed, but I just don't know how yet. 
Hey kid, you're pretty helpful, you know that? No, you're just a kid until we get to the clock tower. Okay. Oh, we're almost there. It's time to restore the world. Yeah, I'm sure it will go that smoothly. Be careful. Don't put your guard down until this is over. I mean, uh, look, uh, no game starts with all these lovey-dovey things if it doesn't hit the fan immediately after. It, that is, like, game-making 101. I see Lucy. Okay, well. Oh, that's weird. I wonder what... I don't, oh, I wonder what happened over here. Oh, I just got a little off guard. Oh, so it ends like this. Joey is no longer moving. Okay. I'm afraid this is my end. Lucy, run as far as you can. Okay. I'm not trying to talk. I'm trying to walk around. Ugh. Just a little bit. If I'd done a little better, we could have operated the clock tower. Okay. Wee. No. How did this happen? Please, everybody, wake up. I don't care what happens to the clock tower anymore. Please. I was actually, like, fingers crossed hoping that that was going to happen. <laughs> uh. I don't know who this Lucy kid is. I don't like her very much. She seems like a bad luck charm to me. Don't worry. This is not the end. It's just another beginning. Okay. I hate how the mouse is, like, up in the way, but I have to click the screen. Because you are the hero of this world. Oh. I'm in a bedroom. I can change my outfit. Basic outfit, <laughs> cat outfit. I think the basic is fine, thanks. I don't even have it unlocked. I don't know why it's an option. Oh, what? Okay, turn the lights off. Save energy. The arc is not made of money over here. Good morning, are you ready? Let's leave. Wait a minute. Leon told me the investigation team, wait. Leon told the investigation team about you yesterday. Talk to them if you have any investigators that you want to recruit to our party. Everyone is fired up from the news about us finding a timeshade. Okay. Are you sure? About what? Despite what I said yesterday, there's no need to hurry. It's better to be thoroughly prepared. On that note, how about practicing in the training grounds? No. <laughs> I see. You can train in the arc at any time, so pay a visit if you need to. Okay. I definitely know how to play this game. Uh, let's hurry and collect the timeshades to activate the clock tower. Okay, you seem very determined. Let's go to the Twisted Land when you're ready. Okay. Whoa. Difficulty. Oh, God. Recommended for newer players. Additional boss mechanics. Cursed monsters appear. Maximum accuracy is limited. Loose necklace cannot be recharged. Oh, yeah. I think we will. <clears throat> okay, so this is our... lineup. This is our roster. Hein. I don't... I'm not reading all that. Hein is a warrior who harbors immense hatred towards the Church of Pharaohs. He is difficult to control due to his madness, but he has great potential. Maximum health and excels against hordes of enemies. Madness. Whenever Hein deals, defeats an enemy, cast it again with halved damage. Oh, that sounds pretty good. <clears throat> okay. Uh... Cool. I would like to recruit you. But I can only recruit two people, eh? Joey. Joey's a genius chemist who previously worked at a research lab. Okay, you're a healer. You're also a healer. I, we'll probably need a healer if we're on expert mode. Uh, first time I made project, Joey decided to participate in the investigation. The Twisted Land. You can help allies or harass enemies with various buffs and debuffs. Receive a random potion when you level up. Healing power is 11. I don't know what any of these things mean.
Pressel has a strong faith as a priestess. She's joined the investigation team to help purify the Twisted Land. She brings stability to the team with strong healing support teams. Start of each turn during the skill draw phase, replace one draw with a below effect. Be two random skills from the deck. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. What's your healing power? 16 healing. It's not an overtime. Targeting another ally. Heal yourself for 50%. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Okay, I'll recruit you. Ah, God, but... No, I didn't mean to confirm. I was trying... Okay. I, I, I didn't realize that that button was what that button was. I... Oh, boy. All right. Well, I guess we're going. <laughs> I was trying to cancel it so I could look at the other people. I have no idea what I'm doing. I should have done the tutorial. It's forfeit. Okay. <laughs> hey, new record. It's okay, this isn't over yet. At least you can try again, right? Okay. I have no idea what any of these things mean. What is going on? It's so loud. This game is so loud. Oh, okay. I, okay. I just, I, we're going to have to deal with it. This. Ugh. Again, I'm back here again. I get a terrible headache every time I come here. Who are you? How many times are you going to bring me here? What are you trying to tell me? What am I? I can't even hear myself over this loud humming noise. I'm an investigator. Uh, does my sworn door? I literally cannot even hear myself talking. This is so loud. Ah! No, never mind. Let's go back. When I open my eyes, I will be back inside the Ark. Activate the clock tower. Our mission is to activate the clock tower. That is the only mission. Okay. That was cool. Lucy. <laughs> my god, I can hear myself think again. Lucy, wake up. Wake up, Lucy. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Where? Alright, looks like I made it in time. Where am I? And who are you? Confused, are we? I'm sure you'll come back to your senses little by little. I'm an ARC investigator. My name is Azar. Lucy, I've been looking for you. Me? Okay. I was just trying to do a tutorial. Who am I? I don't remember anything except the name Lucy. I guess that's to be expected. I was... Ugh. Are you okay, Lucy? Azar? Huh? Have we met before? No, I don't believe we've met before. I feel like you're familiar. It's like... Well, I... I, I didn't even click anything. It's... Okay. Anyway, Lucy, are you here anywhere? <laughs> oh, no, not really. I'm fine. Thank goodness. If you get hurt, we have no chance at activating the clock tower. Clock tower? That's right, I need to go to the clock tower. As soon as I can, I need to activate the clock tower. That's my destiny. All right, I can feel our determination. We'll reach the end for sure this time. Azar? Oh, sorry, it's nothing. Let's get out of here, this place is dangerous. We should head back to the Ark for now. The Ark? Okay. Whoa, over there's the floating island. That's the Ark. Your destination, the clock tower, is also there. Ark. Clock tower. We can't activate the clock tower just yet, but I'll explain things more once we get there. Come on, let's go. Follow me. Okay, there's a lot going on right now. I'm not quite following any of it. All I know is we can train in the arc, and that is what I'm going to do.
Okay. Welcome to the Ark, Lucy. So this is the Ark. Yes, the only safe haven left in the world. This place is the residential area. This place feels relaxing. It's almost like I've been here before. This is where you'll be staying from now on. I'm looking forward to working with you, Lucy. Hazar, you said you were searching for me, right? Why did you search for me? Why did I search for you? Ah, uh, it's because you're the girl of the prophecy who saved the world. Girl of prophecy? That's right, you're the hero of a prophecy that's been passed down to the Ark for generations. Your power, we can activate the clock tower and restore the world to its former glory. My power? Yeah, do you remember what I said? I can't activate the clock tower just yet. We need a certain resource known as this time shades. Time shades. The time shades are scattered across the twisted land as fragments, but the girl of prophecy is the ability to locate the time shades. I see. The twisted land is always shifting, so it's impossible to locate the time shades by ourselves. However, with the girl of prophecy on our side, it's a completely different story. So the first step is to search for these time shades. Yeah, exciting, don't you think? I want to start the investigation right away, but it's already late. So let's get some rest to start tomorrow. Okay. I've prepared a room for you. You can rest there. See you tomorrow, Lucy. Okay. Bye. <laughs> what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's it's a mess, but I love it. Okay, a warm day. Faded photo. Cool. Archive, archive update. Encyclopedia. I... Okay. I don't know. Maybe. What if I don't want to go to bed? What if instead I want to... Hmm, I don't know. Learn how to play the game. Oh, 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 good morning. Are you ready? I guess I didn't expect you to just leave. I'll sleep now. Wait a minute. Lane told the investigation team about you yesterday. Talk to them if you have any investigators you want to recruit to our party. Everyone is fired up for the new... Wait, what? Why? Oh, my God. You're a piece of shit. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Research lab. No. I okay. I I don't think that that's gonna work. But you know, it was worth a shot. I want to find the training grounds. It's gotta be this, right? It has to be. There, there's no way it's not. Let's well, see. The mission given to the investigation team is very important. The area below the arc is very dangerous. So, as a training instructor, I'll teach you some simple skills that you can pick up pretty quickly. Oh, no. I'm broke. But clearly this is not the right place. Is there a help button? No? Okay. I'm an idiot. Uh, whoa. What? How did I do that? Oh, I see. If I press these two buttons together, I jump, and I actually got an achievement for it. Hmm, what do you seek? Uh, teach me how to fight. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, good. This is it. I was right. It is the right place. Welcome to the training grounds, Lucy. I'm your temporary instructor, the one and only Phoenix. I'll teach you everything step by step, so you better be grateful. Now, shall we learn about the basics of combat? Combat works by selecting a skill from your hand and selecting a target. Every skill requires mana to use, and the mana cost of the skill is shown inside the purple gem. This is your maximum mana. You have three mana at the moment. Keep your maximum mana in mind and try to attack the enemy. Select a skill, select a target. Good job! Your skills will be discarded and added to the discard pile. Since there are no more skills to play, you should pass the turn by clicking end turn. Okay. At the start of the turn, you draw two skills and regain all your mana. When there are no more skills in your deck, the discard pile is shuffled and added back to your deck. If an ally is hurt, you should try using the basic heal skill to heal your ally. Okay. Your ally is healed up and you have some man remaining mana, but there are no more attack skills you can play. Casting another healing skill will be pretty useless here. In these situations, you should use the exchange feature. This lets you discard a skill from your hand and draw a skill from the deck. I'll put a draw skill at the top of your deck. Try exchanging the basic kill and then use draw. Okay. I'm... Yes. Okay, I see, I see, I see. 
Wow. Now look at the cost of the first basic attack. Weird, right? Why does this basic, cast basic attack cost two when the other ones cost one? It's because I exchanged it, right? That's because of overload. For every stack of overload on an ally, their skill costs are increased by one for that turn. Basic heal that you use overloaded your ally, which caused their skill cost to increase. Okay, never mind. I'm an idiot. I had a bunch of skills in your hand, so just try casting them with overload in mind. Jesus. We can attack. Success chance. Of well, that's pretty good. Combo attack. Yes. All right. Allies gain overload by casting skills, and overload causes their skills to cost to increase. Simple enough, right? Overload stacks whenever you play a skill, and all overload is removed at the end start of next turn. Keep that in mind. Oh, wouldn't you run out of mana too quickly? Don't worry. There are some skills that don't cause overload. Magic of Phoenix has gifted you with two mana and a couple of skills. Notice how these skills have blue gems instead of purple ones. These skills have a property called Swiftness. Skills with Swiftness do not cause overload, no matter how much you use them. Try using them yourself, okay? Special effects, yeah, 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 yeah. If used, uh, remove this deck from the deck for this battle, okay, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll just do them all. <laughs> Each attack skill, oh, cool. Good job, isn't it fun to spam skills without worrying about overload? Besides swiftness, there are many other keywords that offer unique effects, so make sure to check them out. Oh, what happens if you got skills in your hand? In that case, you can try using a fixed ability. If you look at the bottom of the screen, there should be a hexagon shape icon next to allies' portraits. It's called a fixed ability. Yeah, okay. I've added a skill to your hand. Increased morale is a once skill that can only be used once per battle, and the cost is zero. Try using it. Okay. Now look at the fixed ability at the bottom. It's the same skill, but it costs one more, right? Try using increased morale in the fixed ability slot. Most skills can be registered as a fixed ability, which lets you use them at any time. However, the cost is increased by one, and the only and only one fixed ability can be used per turn. If you want to have a skill available at all times, a good idea to register it as a fixed ability. Now that's out of the way, try passing the turn. I'm sure you have a grasp on how to use your skills by now, and it's review time. Change the deck and add a couple skills to your hand. Change overload swiftness fixed ability. Apply the knowledge we learned so far and deal as much damage as possible. Okay. Duplicate all illusion swords in hand. I don't have any. Duplicate it until hand is full. Uh, apply three stacks of burn. Flex skills. Cost is reached by one. Gain swiftness for one. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I cast it on an ability. Interesting. Okay. Adds an additional attack to deal seven damage for each illusion sword and illusion sword buff in hand. Okay, watch this shit. Wow. Okay, use them all. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Sure. That was a pretty good turn. Jesus, there's another guy here. Perfect. They say a great teacher makes a great student, don't you think? There should be no issues attacking, but the problem is defending. The enemies won't just stand still and take your hits. On that note, I'll teach you how to minimize damage from enemy attacks. The next mechanic I'll introduce is action count. Hmm, how do I explain this? Uh, well, the scenes believe me. Try playing some skills and pay attention to the action count. Yeah, I'm going to guess I used two. Okay, yeah. <laughs> hmm, how do I explain this? Well, uh, that concise explanation seems to do the trick. Yeah, I guess I have to attack that guy. Hmm, the enemy moved even though you didn't end your turn. Well, that's obvious. As I said, the enemies won't just stand still and take your hits. Most enemies try to attack you in the middle of your turn. Important to check the enemies to see when they will act. Action counts decrease by one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you turn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember the swiftness keyword from earlier. Not only the swiftness print, it'll load. Okay, cool. Yes. Great. Did you see that? After using a swimming skill, the enemy action count didn't change. 
I'm sure you understand how action count works now. Let's move to the next turn. I think I've basically got the gist. Take a look at your ally's health bar. Turn green. Yeah, it's called healing gauge. Yeah, try using healing skill. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let's look at the health bars again. You can see the healing gauges are somewhat gone. I'll adjust the hearty health a bit. Let's try healing again. Party member with healing gauge received the full effect, while the party member with no healing gauge recovered only a bit. In a way, having healing gauge is like being wounded. If you treat the wound before you get serious, you can make full recovery. However, if you get wounded again in the same spot, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good idea to heal your allies quickly so you don't lose healing gauge. Also, remaining healing gauge is filled up when the battle ends. Okay. Uh, this is such a long tutorial. Hey, where are you going? Don't run away. I promise we're almost done. Now I'm gonna teach you about pain damage. Pain damage is damage that cannot cut your healing gauge. I'm giving you a pain debuff to a party member. Read the description of the debuff and try casting a skill. Receive five damage if you cast one. Jesus Christ. That fucking sucks. You see what I mean? The healing gauge didn't disappear even after taking the damage. Most pain damage is caused by these pain debuffs. And there are many debuffs to watch out for besides broken. Can discern the type of debuff by the color of the icon. There are some debuffs that can instantly wipe your party if you don't pay attention. So if you ever get a debuff, stay calm and read the description. Now then, should we go over the final turn? Okay. All right, time for the final stretch. This time I'll teach you about standby. Standby is a feature that lets you reduce the enemy's action count without having to play a skill. Ah, uh, yes. Try clicking on the hourglass. Okay. Ooh, I'm sorry, I was yawning. Did you see that? By using standby, you've reduced everyone's action count by one and it's causing action. Yeah. Basically, like it's a mechanic, but there are many applications. For example, you can create opportunities to heal in between enemy attacks. There'll be situations where standby will come in handy, so make sure to remember it. Alright, that's it for the basics. Cool. Yes. Yes. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. I'm done. Get me out of here. Let me go home. Okay. Now we know. Now we know. I I'm not gonna lie to you. I probably could have figured most of that out on my own just by playing, but it's okay. I think we're ready. Okay. Do I have to actually go there? Wee. When defeated, you lose all party progressions to restart from the beginning. Uh, replay the game even if your party is wiped. When defeated, you do not lose party progression, increase hope level. I have no idea what either of those two things mean. When defeated, lose all party progression and restart from the beginning. Replay the game, even if your party is wiped. When defeated, do not lose party progression and increase hope level. I don't know. This one sounds... Replay... I, I, I just don't understand. You do normal mode. You are on the team, unless someone else is better. Over barrier. Part of your members gain. Okay, that's pretty good. Chain uh, gains burn when she casts a skill. Health gauge is protected during burn. Gain bonus things during burn. Okay, that's cool. Illusion swords. Yeah, I saw a little bit of that. Okay. I think I'm okay with the people we had. All of that for no reason, basically. I'm ready. Let's kick some ass. The Misty Garden. Ooh. Okay, I have no idea what we're doing in here. Okay. We're fighting something. All right. Critical hit of the target's health is below. You have 15 additional damage if cast at death's door. Watch this shit. Bam. A bo bam. A bo bam. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Healing potion, soul stone. Okay, loot. I have a limited capacity, I see. Also, now, of course, I need to turn the music up. Of course. Of course. 
You can upgrade your character by using soul stones. You can click on a character to see more information about them. Click on a character. Level up. When a character levels up, you can choose one of a random few skills to learn. Okay. Start of each turn. Uh, okay. Hope we kill all eyes by one when you defeat an enemy. That sounds pretty good. Make a prophecy prioritizing attack skills. Skill drawn by God's blessing, ignore taunt, and tracking and their pain. Okay. Next prophecy will have one more option. Chain heal a selected ally after... That sounds pretty good. Okay, do I want damage or I want healing? Well, obviously, damage. Increase maximum mana and... Uh, don't care. We don't have any soul stones. It doesn't matter anyways. Okay. I'm bored. Shut the hell up. <laughs> we're going. We're, we're working on it. Oh, God. Obtain a cursed uncommon item equipment or gain 1,100 gold and a Lucy curse skill or transform an item into a better item. I don't, I guess, get a heroic equipment. Or we get an accursed item. I, th I think I would like to do that. Yeah. Longsword. An item with unknown power. It must be equipped first, okay? Well, now comes the question of how do I equip this? Equip. On Hein. Okay, what does it do? Instantly faint when health reaches zero. Cannot be unequipped. Okay, that's fine. You're a glass cannon anyways, buddy, I think. I think you'll be all right. I have faith in you. I think you got this. I think you got this. What was this? What? Something over here? What does that mean? A boss gate. The fuck is a boss gate? I don't even see it. Okay, well, I'm gonna ignore that. The boss protecting the gateway. Make sure to prepare before engaging in boss battles. Go up. No, whoa, 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 whoa. We're just reading. Okay. All debuff resistance increased by 15%, evade increased. Black file arrives, restore all allies, heal engage, and all allies gain heal engage. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Not too shabby, not too shabby. What's going on over here? M to open the map. Look for exclamation points. Fast travel to blinking areas by clicking on it. Okay. Money. Bag of gold and bread. Cool. We can fast travel. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's get kicked. Or I was about to say let's get kicked ass. Let's go kick ass. Personally, he's making a prophecy. Hmm. I guess a basic kill. Okay. Uh, I guess let's make that free. Good damage. Good damage. Uh, I guess we'll end the turn. Okay. Eight. Not too bad. We can heal that up. Yes. Heal. A kill. Goodbye. Tablet. Remove all weakening and debuffs. And we got Soul Sun so he can level up. Ooh. Okay. Rage Slash. Reduces skills caused by one if heal engage remains. Reduces cost to zero if at death's door. He will never be at death's door. Skill damage is based on the caster's health. 70% of max health plus 50% of lot. Wait, I don't understand what that means, but okay. If you defeat an enemy, overheal 25%. Yes, I think we want that. We need you to stay alive. Is she able to level up? Oh no, that's a healing symbol. Oh, how silly of me. I was going to say, I didn't think we had any soul stones. Random potion, sacrifice 20 health. Yeah. Ooh, does anybody have 20 health? Hmm. Well. Oh yeah, we're fine. You'll, you'll be okay. 
that it could be done twice. Okay. I have two keys now. I don't know what to do with them, but we have them. Am I a little worried about how low of health we're at? Maybe. I think we'll be okay, though. Restoring allies held by 20%. Restore all out. Okay. Boss time. Uh, yes. And let's start with a heal. Well, what is this? Oh, we got all eyes by one we defeat an enemy. Prophecy 100% critical chance. That's 25 damage. That's pretty good. We can only do one any. Well, that's not true. That's not true, actually. That's total lie. Let's do it anyways. Fuck it. That was a lot of damage. Oh god. Characters will faint as they receive damage at death's door. Recover from death's door by healing. Okay, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Lucy. Seems you're in an irreversible situation again. I, I think we're fine. We still have people alive. Well, there's no need to worry. Just accept your fate. This is not the end. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, no, we're, we're totally fine. Like, this is okay. We're, this is fine. Yeah, you're at pretty low health. I think this is probably a good, probably a pretty good thing to do. Big hit. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I figured we would be. Now we'll revive her in a second. Okay, golden skill book. Do one random skill per ally and learn one. Yeah, just take it all. I'll read it later. Okay, I have no idea what we do now. Campfires are located between stages. Campfires restore health and revive fallen allies. You can consume items differently inside a campfire. For example, bread will heal all eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Variety of items you can use. Okay. Oh. Everybody, back to full health, please. Or at least get revived. Okay, cool. Camping item blacksmith or we can recruit well i think i would like to recruit somebody you use fire skills i think we need you because i need a tank i need someone to take all this damage off of us also i think i'm equipping that on you okay that's that's fine with me we have three of these things. Can anybody level up? What? Oh. Hey. Whoa, I wasn't done to the campfire yet. I was definitely not done here. Okay, let's do that. And then let's have you eat this one. Get you up as full as we can. Uh, Let's go ahead and use this too. Shield charge, discard after three turns, cannot be fixed. Skills damage increases equal to the amount of healing received. Move this to the skill to the top of the deck when a battle starts. What does it do? Recast the next skill played from hand to take pain. Hmm. Yeah, we take that. Seems fine to me. Okay. Uh, do we want to get him to level two? Probably. Probably. If he's going to be the tank, I think that's not a bad idea. Cost is reduced by one if you haven't cast a skill. and cast, all allies receive 20% more healing. Okay. Does a decent amount of damage. That does a ton of damage. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Also, the music is just gone. I, I don't know where it went. You can save and quit by using the book. Activate a relic's power by placing it on this play stand. Okay. Well, I have a relic. 
Restore all healing. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. The music's back. Seems you haven't unlocked any card skills yet. You can do this by consuming souls. Okay. Okay, I can't do that. Maximum mana is low. Okay, can't do that either. All right. You save your progress and exit here. Save data can only be loaded once. Okay, let's not do that. Let's instead go over here. Woo, chest. Endless magic parchment. Cannot be cursed. Enchantments can be stacked on this item. Maximum health plus 20%. Eh, yep, yep, yep. I think that's an easy choice. And Ironheart, that's going to you, buddy, because you're gonna be uh you're gonna be taking a lot of damage for us. I hope at least. I don't actually know how he works. We're gonna about to find out though. Wow, you have a lot of health. Are you the boss? I hope not. Basic protect. Yes, that's amazing. You're amazing. Oh boy. Detected corrupted data, starting automatic data recovery. Okay. Resuming program. Okay. I, I, whatever, man. I, look, just nod my head and roll with it, I guess. Um, yeah, let's do shield bash. Yeah, that seems pretty good. 33 damage is pretty good. That's nothing. That's nothing. 10 damage a turn. Okay. That's a little bit more than nothing. 10 damage a turn. One of three. Okay. Wow. So you're just going to die then. Target yourself. Heal another. Heal yourself. Wait. When targeting another ally. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Or don't. I thought you were going to get to heal from that. Apparently I was mistaken on how that worked. 39. He's about to take a lot of damage, I think. 28. That's all right. It's all right. Basic heal. Use. Uh, I guess we'll do that one. 43. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. Eep. We're fine. Yes. Basic heal. Let's get two basic heals going. Oh, good dodge. And kill. Goodbye. Well done, team. Well done. Give me all the loot. Okay. Increase maximum mana. Immediately. Is a shop? Identify. Uh, okay, I don't think we need to do that. We could buy something. Skill book. If you all class the skill of a selected ally and learn one. Seems pretty good. We could buy a little bit of bread. Okay, I'll buy some bread. Saves all curses from equipped items. I will also buy that, I think. Start of the third turn, view random investigator rare skills equal to the number of allies and add one to your hand. Sure. Get rid of the bread. Fuck the bread. Bread is for babies. And I am no baby. I don't even remember what I bought. <laughs> oh, well. This way. Enemies are guarding this area. Attack. You think I'm afraid? You think I'm afraid? You know who I am. I'm the guy who kills people, all right? That's just my job. That's how things work around here. Get ready to die. Goodbye. And... It's actually basic kill. Okay. And now kill. That's not that bad. You're totally fine. Mm, sure. When targeting another ally, heal yourself for 50% of healing amount. There we go. Okay. All right. It worked that time. I don't know what happened last time. Whatever. Oh, whoa. Cancel. Take it. Pause it. 
I forgot the sound effects were turned down. I'm an idiot. I was wondering why I wasn't hearing anything. Fountain of Wishes. Obtain one key. Wait. A magical fountain that is said to make all wishes come true. You're not capable of handling the power of my wishes. Right now, I can only grant you very weak. Enter Bloody Park in the previous playthrough. In the previous playthrough? How the fuck do I do that? Okay, whatever. We can go identify this scroll. And three scrap metal, which can be used in reforging equipment. In addition, use a key or obtain a Lucy curse to acquire two scrap. And two bread or three bread. Or use three bread to obtain, to obtain golden bread. Hmm. Okay, well, I can't go back, so let's uh, do this and use a key. Loot and then use a key. Okay, cool. Am I able to reforge here? Now I can identify this scroll, though. Scroll that grants random loot. Bread. Okay. Not going to complain about bread. This is the boss. Let's maybe come back. An old pile of skeletons. Okay. To get more max mana. I don't think that's a bad idea. I think we should level up, though. Ironheart's kind of carrying right now. All allies buffed remain one extra turn. Whenever a healing seal is played while the skill is under countdown, cast shield of retribution on a random enemy. That's pretty good. Let's do that. So I have three. Let's heal, or not heal. Let's get you up too. Another healing coil. Which class I have in Holy Light. Enhanced Prophecy. Yes, let's do that. Okay. I like where we're at right now. Things are things are looking good. Wee. Attack plus three, healing power up. Attack plus ten percent. I'm actually gonna take the ring and give it to uh, Pressel. That seems like a good thing for you to have, maybe. Bag of gold coins and bread. A hey, 500 gold and attempt the trial. You can obtain better prize and more damage to deal in one skill book. Also, use one key to obtain an infinite skill book. I don't have any keys anymore. Okay. Do as much damage as possible within the given turns. Okay. Minimum required damage is 160. Okay. Let's do this. Shield bash. Shield of Retribution. Basic heal. Uh, well, save the basic heal. Okay. Uh, Let's do Accelerate, I guess. 28 is pretty good. I don't know how much damage we've done yet. Just use them. I don't think it's going to deal damage to us, so. Unless it does, in which case I'm going to be quite sad. Let's do that. Let's swap you out. Yeah. I have two turns left. We've not done very much damage. Hmm. Hmm. Not very good. Just make the most of it, I guess. 15 damage versus 15 damage. Well. Okay. We have one turn left. I don't know how much damage we've done. I hope enough. I doubt it, though. Okay. I don't think we got anything. I think I just spent $500 for no reason. Oopsie poopsie. What's over here? Another battle. Oof, you guys have got another thing coming to you, I hate to say. Good. 
Good, good hit. Okay. This is a good try. Uh, end. That's fine. Okay. Good. It's totally fine. Go ahead and heal. Like nothing even happened. Yep. Yeah. And let's go ahead and finish this off. Goodbye. Small barrier generator. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Top three skills, select one. Discard the bottom skill and draw three. Select one of three and draw it. Yeah, I think that seems like the best one. Especially since his cost is reduced by two. Yeah. Not sure why I would pick anything else. Money? Project in progress. Okay. Don't know what that is. Come at me, punks. That's right. That's the spirit. Um... Okay. Good dodge. Okay, we're fine. Shake dust. I didn't even read what that did. The skill remains in the deck and after the battle ends. Cast the skill to remove it. it. Cannot be used in the same battle it was received. Oh. Okay. I guess that's a curse of some kind? Not entirely sure on that. Good damage. Mmm. Yeah. Good kill. Okay. Uh, deep in thought. And then let's use that. A goodbye. <laughs> a goodbye, goodbye. I can add another card draw. Uh, I don't know if we need to do that. Let's level you up. Bloodstorm Assault Slash. Skill always lands against a target with a weakening debuff. Facing one enemy, damage is increased by nine. Or tear up. Skill always lands against an enemy. Does a lot of damage. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I think it's almost boss time. Obtain one random potion, use a key to obtain one more, and uncommon. Smelt, yes, let's do that. I didn't read what it said. Help. Smelt equipment, relics, or active items, transform them into other items of the same type. Um, well, I, okay, well, that sucks. <laughs> also, he's no longer cursed, right? He is not. Okay, so this guy is actually able to do things for us again. So the forge, uh, maybe we could change something they have. No, that's pretty good. Hmm. No, it's fine. Is it time for the boss? It is. All right, team. I got faith in you guys. I think you got this. 205, that's nothing. Light. That's light. We got this. Watch. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. Oh. Okay. Skill remains in hand at the end of the turn. Automatically cast on, uh, on all allies. Five damage a turn. Uh, I think you can take it. I think you'll be okay. Okay, now watch and learn. Basic protect. Uh, yes, watch this. Wait. Yes, watch this. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, bam. Bam. What? 
been uh, cast. There we go. Okay. And yeah, that should be good. God damn, you're taking a fuck ton of damage. Yeah, I want to try this one out. We can throw that on you. You'll be fine. Let's go ahead and use that. I say let's just go for the big boss. That's my personal thoughts. That was a lot of damage. That was pretty good. I need to figure out how to change their things too. Cause I don't really want that on anymore. Attack down, healing power down. We can give that to you. You'll be fine. Damn. Ooh. You're all right. 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 Okay. It was a little unfortunate. She'll be all right, though. 31 damage, great. We can throw it all on you. You'll be fine. That's a little unfortunate, but you're also okay. Hmm. Yes. All right, watch this shit. Watch this shit. I know, I know. Health is not looking too hot, but watch this. Ooh, okay, watch this. Oh, Christ. Uh... You're fine. He's not dead. Okay, um... Hmm. Observe. You're gonna die. Observe. Goodbye. Oh god, you're still alive. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh! Oh, no. All right, we have to do 10 damage. We got it. We'll be fine. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Watch this. Okay. Look at that. Unlocked a new boss. We got a bunch of things. And... Some kind of stone. Okay. Not sure what that was, but cool. Let's move to the next stage. Oh, that was the nightshade thing. Okay, the time shade. Nice. Campfire time. Everybody's back. Everybody's good. Everybody's great. Okay. Cross would attack the enemy and heal me better. You're fine. Can we... Well, let's do the blacksmith first. Armor 10%, critical damage down way, critical chance up a lot. Well, I mean, I guess it's okay. Armor up is pretty good. Bottle of poison. Skills in hand that inflict a pain debuff cost one. Eh. Eh. I guess we'll put it on you. You want to run for ally and learn one. Blood reflux. Blinking heal. Choose one. Increase the target's chance to be attacked or reduce your chance to be attacked. Prophecy. Increase healing by three. Restore the target's healing gauge. Perceive pain damage equal to half. Attack power received healing increases based on lost health. 
and then one stack when attacked. Convert all ally bar barriers into party bar barrier. Jesus Christ, cannot speak. Okay, yeah, that, that was pretty good. Throw some scrap metal in there now. Attack 15%. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get rid of that shit. I'm trying to combine an equipment. It won't let me. Or, oh, it's because I'm out of uses. How silly of me. Upgrade effect. If drawn by prophecy, make a prophecy again. Okay. Hmm. Which one do I usually take? Shield of Retribution is real good. No. Shield Bash is real good. And... I want to try and change out their skills. I just drag to it. Yes. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. Um... Yes. Okay, just kidding. That one's good. <sighs> God damn it, I wasn't trying to do that. Okay, I, it's really a little frustrating that when I press escape out of this menu, because it says leave, right? It also takes me out of that menu. That that should be changed. That Maybe that's something that should be looked into. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's, well. Actually, oh, I can't do that one. Basic protect, I guess, is good. This doesn't need to be anything crazy. Do a card draw, or we could do a level up. Let's do a level up. Innocent armor. All allies buffs remain one extra turn. Cost reduced by one. If you haven't cast a skill this turn, when cast all eyes, receive 20% more healing. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, shit. Uh, he is... About to forget this? Is it going up the... Yeah, he, that is. Okay, that fucking sucks. I'm glad that I just noticed that. Okay, I will try not to do that then. Now I want both of you on there. There's a fundraiser. Donate. Yeah, I'll donate. Yeah, I'll bite. And I think this is where we're going to call it an episode. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. I upload daily at 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. As always, hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next episode. So long, everybody.